Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. You all seem to be enjoying and loving all of the super quick and easy projects that I've been bringing you with a theme. And so we're going to continue that today with the theme of Santa Claus. So all the projects I'm going to share with you today are so inexpensive, quick, easy, simple. A lot of the items you can even find at Dollar Tree. So let's go ahead and get creative. All right, so up first is a Santa wreath. I have this 12 inch size wreath from Dollar Tree along with this Santa scarf. Super cute, it's got little jingle bells and the little pom poms. And what I wanna do is actually feed this scarf onto the wreath. So this is like a tube of fluffy red material. I just wanna cut a little hole in this, cut a section of this so that it will open up and then I can feed the scarf onto it and then I'll re-glue the wreath back together and then I want to give it a belt too so I have a piece of black ribbon and some gray felt to make his buckle and just make a really quick simple and easy Santa themed wreath. So first I had to cut the wreath apart. I'm using these like heavy duty scissors. They are amazing. They're like my new favorite tool. I got them on Amazon and I'll make sure to link them down in the description box below. They go through wood and as you can see this wreath. So I just cut that and then decided to add some duct tape around those end pieces. That'll make it easier for me to slide the scarf through. So I found the seam and just cut a small little hole, fed the scarf around the wreath, and then had to cut another little hole on the other end. That way the wreath could pop out. Once the other end of the wreath was popping through that scarf, I used my duct tape again to tape the wreath back together. You can see here that it is all pieced back together, but you're not even gonna see it because we are going to cover it up with the scarf. And all I did to do that was just tie the scarf ends a couple times and then wrapped it around that opening piece so you didn't see it at all. And now to add his belt, I'm just using a piece of black grosgrain ribbon. I kind of found about the middle of the wreath and then laid it down, hot glued the ends around to the back of the wreath. And now to add the belt, I'm using that gray felt. This is the stiff kind, so it holds its shape a little bit better. I cut a square out and then cut a square out of the center there, and then use my hot glue to add it to the middle of the ribbon. I so much love to have wreaths for every single holiday and season, but it seems like Christmas time I have lots of wreaths around the house. If you do too, give this video a thumbs up. They just add so much extra fun and holiday cheer. Of course, Santa loves his milk and cookies, so we can't leave out this great tradition that we always do on Christmas Eve. And I have a couple items from Dollar Tree. I have a really great mason jar style glass mug, as well as one of their smaller dessert size ceramic plates. And I have a few different options of how you can do this. The first one is what I am going to do, and that is to just add some decals to the front. This is super quick and easy, and um, I just wanna let you know that I do have these in my Etsy shop. I will link that down in the description box if you don't have a vinyl machine. If you do have a vinyl machine, I use matte black Oracle number 651 vinyl, and I use the font, the skinny for these. If you don't have a vinyl machine, there's a couple different things you can do. First, of course you can use just a traditional Sharpie marker and write right on the front of those. And those you just want to be really careful with that you don't get them wet because they will smear. 
The other option is you can use an oil-based Sharpie marker and you can bake these, which hardens the ink on them and then they're a little bit more smudge proof. I have a full tutorial on how to do that and I will link that down in the description box below too. Both of those versions, you just write whatever you want onto your pieces. Of course, we're doing milk and cookies for Santa. But you can, of course, get creative, even make these as gifts and maybe put a family name or something on there. So there's just some options for you. But basically what I'm going to do is just peel off my transfer sheet. There's a paper top sheet that's going to peel the vinyl off. We're going to apply it onto the front of our pieces. Use a squeegee to rub them on, peel off our transfer sheet, and then we'll be left with a beautiful design on our pieces. And I'm going to transform this cute little terracotta pot into a Santa version of it, which would be really cute to put little treats in or gifts in or even like a gift card in uh, using some red, white and black paint. Now I want to give it some black buttons, but I don't have any black, but I do have some buttons from Dollar Tree that are about the right size. So I'm just going to use my black paint and paint two buttons black and then I'll hot glue them onto the front. Next, we're gonna make a Santa Claus out of wooden paintbrushes. So you get these great paintbrushes, two in a pack for only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So you literally can make these for only 50 cents each. Such a fun project and a really great deal too. So you're also gonna need red paint, white paint, and black paint. I have a sheet of white felt that we're gonna use for the brim of his hat. I also have a wooden bead that's gonna be his nose my hot glue and my scissors. So first I painted the entire wood handle red. I did give it two coats so it could dry in between and have a darker finish. And then I also painted that wooden bead with the same red paint. Now it was time to add the white fluffiness to his hat. So what I did is cut a rectangle out of the white felt and I cut it a little bit wider than the actual width of the paintbrush. 
That way, whenever I hot glued it down, I could wrap those ends around to the back so you don't see that so much. Then I took my black paint and added two eyeballs and hot glued the wooden red bead down onto the bristles of the paintbrush to give him his nose. I was so, so excited when I saw these small dome cloches at Dollar Tree. Is this not amazing? I grabbed three of them. There was only five. I wish I would have grabbed all of them, but I always try to leave some on the shelf for somebody else. But if I find more of these, I'm definitely grabbing a ton more. This is a game changer, something that is pretty significant that Dollar Tree came out with. So we're gonna turn it into a snow globe type snowy scene using these little miniature figurines and a bottle brush trees and Epsom salt from Dollar Tree. All right, so while I am working on getting my cloche, all the stickers and everything taken off, I wanted to mention this video's emoji. So this is something we've been doing and having a new emoji for each video. So this one for today is a red heart. So all you have to do, go down in the comment section below, drop a red heart. If you don't have emojis to leave, you can just write red heart, but it's something fun, it gives, some, gives us something fun to do, and it definitely makes the comment section look super cute down there. So I appreciate everybody that's been taking part in that. And now that I have all my pieces pulled apart, I wanna give my base more of a wintry and rustic look. So I'm going to paint mine using some gray chalk paint first and then I will lightly brush on some white paint. It'll kind of give it a weathered wood look. And then what I'm gonna do is once it's dry, just the bottom, we're not gonna paint the top, I'm gonna hot glue my Santa and my bottle brush tree onto the bottom. I'll pour my Epsom salt into the lid and once these are glued on, I'll be able to flip this upside down, put the base on, flip this over, and then all of the salt will stay inside and it'll look like a pretty snow globe. Now let's make a Santa ornament using these wood slices that are already pre-made into ornaments. These are from Hobby Lobby. They are $3.99 and you get this pack of four. So these ornaments are only 50 cents each. I'm gonna turn them into Santas using red and white paint. I have a black marker and then a little red pom-pom for his nose. I always like to start with the white paint first because it always seems like if I paint red and then paint the white over the red, then I end up with 
crazy pink paint instead of the white that I was going for. So at the bottom, I painted about a third of it probably in the white for his beard. And then I added another strip above that uh, for the brim of his hat. I ended up cutting off the jute because it made it a little bit difficult to paint that top part. And once the white paint was dry, then I came in with my red paint. So just for the top of his hat, I turned red, or I painted red, and then I added black eyeballs using my black marker, and then I also gave him his little mouth with the marker, and then hot glued that pom-pom on for his nose. I thought this was such a super cute ornament that I decided to throw this in this video too. This is one of my ideas from my 10 clear ornaments tutorial and I will link that video down in the description box. It's filled with ideas of how you can decorate these Dollar Tree clear ornaments. For the Santa one, I used some red tissue paper and stuffed that inside. And then I used some black ribbon that I cut down and heat seal the edges because my ribbon was just way too wide. And then I used some gold felt for his buckle for this one. Same thing, I cut a square and then cut a square out of the center and hot glued the belt around the ornament. Now this Santa, I'm gonna use a cute, vintage looking bottle from Dollar Tree, but you could use this with any kind of bottle. Maybe one that is in your recycling or a wine bottle. And then I also have red, a caramel color, white and black paint to paint him up. Use whatever colors you have on hand or whatever kind of matches your decor. We're gonna turn this bottle into a Santa Claus. So again, I am starting with my white paint for this. I found a smaller brush and decided to start with the brim of his hat first. So I went all the way around sort of the middle part of the bottle. And then I found a smaller paint brush to start working on his beard. So I kind of made where a mustache would be and then pulled the beard around the sides of the face and down and just filled all that in with the white paint. I also painted the cork that came with the bottle white, so it kind of looked like the pom-pom on the top of his hat. And then once the white paint was dry, I came back in with the red. I would suggest using either a glass paint or a chalk paint for this because it covers so much better. I'm using an acrylic paint that I had on hand, but it did take several coats. Um, so I just pretty much did the whole rest of the bottle that wasn't white except for his face. And I came in with that caramel color and did his face for that. Once that was completely dry, then I could add his eyes and nose.
want to make some farmhouse -y style books. I'm going to make mine say ho 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 on them, but of course you can write whatever you want. I'm going to be covering the books. These are chapter books and I think the cool thing is, is these are even Christmas ones. I'm sure these were not cheap, but they are from Dollar Tree. I kind of hate covering since they are Christmas, but I mean they have random people on the front. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and cover mine up and make them look a little more neutral. This is packing paper. Um, that comes on a roll. I just cut a few sizes down, but I'm actually going to really cut them down to size so they fit both uh, lengthwise and then I'll kind of make like book covers out of them and then we'll add our ho 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 one word on each book and then wrap them up with some ribbon and twine to give them a Christmassy look. All right, so here is the first one. I just wanted to show you that I actually just folded it instead of cutting it because I knew I wasn't going to be able to cut like a straight line. So I just used the book as a reference, kind of made a little score mark along where it needed to be folded, folded it the rest of the way, and then just covered the book up. This is the same exact stuff that I used to cover my work surface with. So not only is it great for crafting, but also for creating your, your crafts and your decorative pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up covering the other two books. I would love to have you join our Christmas crew here. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Also click the Christmas bell and select all so you're notified when new holiday inspiration is released. Also, don't forget to check the description box below with links to all of the videos and items that I shared and throughout this video. And I wanna thank you all so, so much for getting cozy with me here in the cozy Christmas cottage. I'll have even more links to holiday ideas and inspiration popping up on your screen that you can check out next. I hope everyone has a very happy holidays.